絶対的な女王のもと円卓が守護する妖精国予言の子が現れ巡礼の鐘は鳴るフェイトグランドオーダーコスモスインザロストベルト妖精円卓領域アバロンルフェ Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We are back with the main group. We last time went through Peak Kino with Mash determining that she is Tamlin Galahad, which is freaking sick.、Um, we're going to be back with the main group in the Drissé? Drake? Let's go Drissé River. I don't know. I'm just feeling like that's the better one. Let's get back in. We got more caterpillars probably to deal with, which will be great because they definitely don't make me squeamish. I definitely don't hate them. I don't like bugs. I'm not afraid of them. I just don't like them. I just think they're gross. I'm not like, ooh, ah, get it away.、Oh, oh, I guess that was literally what I was like with Blanca, huh? Look at him! He's just a little guy. This is a little man with big plans. Oh, dang. This looks like the dwarf city. You can tell because there is an open hearth or furnace. Oh, yeah, that's, uh. Wow, that's still smoldering, huh? And that's where things stand in Britain. Get it now? You mean you traveled across all of Britain in only two days and in that tiny body, no less? It was tight enough to make the end of year rush feel like a leisure trip. I hope you get that too. Nope, sorry. I don't get it at all. It just feels like I've been subjected to a slideshow of somebody else's vacation. You gotta fill us in on at least a few specifics. All I got from that sideshow, slideshow was peaceful, peaceful, dangerous, peaceful, gobsmacked. Hmm. Oh no, he's asleep. Hey, wake up! Sorry about that. I always lose a bit of intelligence when I switch to my recon form. Long story short, nothing major is happening in Gloucester and Salisbury. In Camelot, rumor has it that the Queen has begun preparing some kind of massive spell. The Calamity Pool is apparently going to tear through Norwich in a few days. And in Sheffield, the stronghold up north, well, I didn't learn much of anything there since there was no one there anymore. Didn't you say it was too soon for us to go to Norwich before? All I can say is that there's. that the time is. That all I can say. There is that the time is now. Re Why is this sentence a problem? All I can say there is that the time is now right. Okay. You and Da Vinci are serious about saving Britain now. And for the first time, Artoria has companions she knows she can depend on, not to mention Muramasa's extra muscle. Honestly, I wish we still had at least a little more firepower to work with, but this is probably the best we can hope for. After all, there really isn't any time to spare. If you're going to go to Norwich, it's now or never. Is that really it? Are you sure there isn't another reason? I noticed you didn't seem like yourself when you were telling us about Sheffield. Who, me? Don't be silly. Of course I was myself. Oh, he's frowny. The idea that, if we're lucky, we might gain a powerful new ally from Sheffield never even crossed my mind. Besides, I said we were just taking a short break here, right? It's not a good idea to stay in one place for too long right now. You guys have a lot of eyes on you, after all. I mean, it would be nice to have a proper base, but my force isn't cut for that. If an enemy were to invade us here, we wouldn't even last a day. Now, Chef. Nope, sorry, that just slipped out. Anyway, the most important thing we need. Hmm? Anyway, the most important thing we need now is more allies, which is why I'm saying Norwich should be our next stop. You get it, right, Tanner? I heard that declaration she made, too. You know as well as I do that、uh, what Artoria needs to be a good child of prophecy now is confidence and. I、uh, get some accomplishments, yeah. Exactly. If she's gonna save all of Britain, the best way is to get started by saving a city. Now I gotcha. Even if she can get rid of a calamity that. Oh, if she can get rid of a calamity that even Queen Morgan's given up on, that'll change a child of prophecy from rumor to reality. Nobody will doubt she's the real deal after that. I mean, that's true, but.、Uh, I'm not sure if I'm powerful enough to get rid of this calamity pool just yet. Ah, sure you are. As long as you got the kind of spirit you showed at the auction house, well, you can do anything. Worst case, it'll be learning experience. Don't worry, if you end up falling pieces over it, I'll pick them up for you. Besides, isn't being reckless kind of your thing? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right, Tanner? 
Uh, if anything, learning experiences are when you do your best work. What do you mean? I always play things safe. That's right, she does. Yeah. Who? Oh! Ha ha! Arturi's like a big fuzzy bear who's got it all. Bravery, speed, spirit, that the works! I just know, I'm so sure that she'll find a way to save Norwich too. So let's get going right now, come on. Norwich Calamity City awaits us. Together, I know we can save all of Britain. Who are you? Oh, yes, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Gareth, a vagrant with plans to become Artoria's attendant. That's... a surprise? You here! Lunch, lunch! Oh, thanks. It's real nice you guys to feed me like this. Man, all the fruit you've been giving me the last two days has been so yummy. This forest is great. I'm sorry, but can we get back on track? It sounds like... That's right, I've been following you guys since you left Gloucester. Well, since you left the auction house specifically, the way you handled Tristan was amazing. Every fairy's scared to death of her, but you totally shut her down verbally and mage craftily. I haven't been eating nothing but vegetables every day for 16 years for nothing. Start over with a parlor trick for class for babies. Ah, oh, I just remember those classic... Just, oh, why can't I read today? Just remembering those classic lines makes me want to improve my own vocabulary. Anyway, that was what I knew without a doubt, that you were the master I was meant to serve. And of course, I've been observing your exploits after Gloucester too. You didn't hesitate to help fairies in need, no matter how shady they seemed. I don't know of any other fairy in all of Britain who can trust others like you have. I don't know much about Einzel's prophecy or what the rumors say, but I do know you're destined to save Britain. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. One, it's suspicious. But two, how does she have such knowledge of the fairies if she is Gareth the Servant? Right? It doesn't feel right. Huh. So please, Artoria, please let me come with you on your pilgrimage. I know I'm just a low-class fairy. Yeah, that's strange. Why? How are you a fairy? I mean, I guess... I guess it might be no different from... Like... Koo? But at the same time, I don't know. I know I'm just a low-class fairy who's been flitting from city to city up till now. But I'm certain I can be of use to you. I'm... Oh, gosh. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm not really anything special, so being someone's lord, I don't know. Hey, isn't Gareth... Yep, she's one of proper human history's knights of the round table. Gareth of the beautiful hands. But let's just keep that to ourselves for now. I mean, just look how happy Artoria is. Let me ask you something. Why do you want to be Artoria's attendant? You said you're not interested in either Einstein's prophecy or the rumors, right? So if you don't believe in the child of prophecy, then why devote yourself to her? Well, to be honest, I really have just been a vagrant up until now. I don't even know what kind of fairy I am. I'm not part of the Wind Clan or the Earth Clan or the Fang Clan. I'm not especially good at anything. But the one thing I've always had is a purpose. This time, I want to keep everyone safe. This time, I want to be able to put up a real fight. And I want to help all the people I see suffering everywhere I go. That's always been my purpose. But I'm not very strong. All I can really do is bite my tongue and grit my teeth. So far, I've only managed to get by using my iron weapon to destroy Moors. Then one day, I saw one of the Queen's Tamlin from a distance, and I immediately thought, I want to be a knight like that too. I want to be a knight who can keep everyone safe. I want to serve a king I can truly respect. But soon after, I heard that Queen Morgan was actually a bad king, and the only job of the Tamlin was killing Moors. And I thought my dream could never come true in Britain as it stands now. But then, I heard that a fairy who could save all Britain would be up for auction, so even though I didn't have much hope, I snuck in to see for myself, <laughs> and had my faithful encounter with Artoria there, and my dream of becoming a knight finally came true. Um, well, hasn't come true just yet, but it feels like it may have well have, so... Uh, anyway, that's my reason. Now, do you understand why I want to serve her? Oh, yes, I get it. Looks like we'll just have to let you come along, then. I thought Morgan might have sent you here to spy on us, but no spy would ever be so awkward. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but okay. And since it looks like both Artori and Tanner are in favor of you joining us, I have no objections. Besides, we can always use more fighters on our side. Glad to have you, Gareth. By the way, you said you don't know what kind of fairy you were. Well, now you do. 
Since you're Arturia's very first retainer, that makes you Gareth the Squire. I, I, I guess Squire counts as a type of fairy. Sure. All right. Wow. Wow, we traveled. The Jose River. Yep. It is Southern Roadway West. Up to four servants can be selected. Artoria can only be deployed as support. Okay, I see. Um, oh, we got these two. Can we move you? Oh yeah, we can move. Yeah, you can be wherever, but we have to use you. I will keep you up just for the, just for the heck of it. Uh, in that case, let's not go bond level. Let's go class. Bum, 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 bum. So let's go. Might as well stick with my with my teams here that I enjoy. You are just nice to have. You are strong. And they're free units, so we might as well just, yeah. Um, put you in the back with that. Put you in the back with that. Give you that. Give you that. All right. Cool beans. Are we just hopping into battle? Looks like we are. We got a battle along the way. Probably, if it's the Drissé River, I bet you we got dragons. Or, sorry, wyverns. Because you gotta use the correct terminology. Otherwise, people will just bonk you for it. Be like, that's not a dragon, that's a wyvern. You'd be like, well, I'm not me, I'm the one. Oh no, we're dealing with unseelies. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, just hurt you here, kill you for sure. Okay, get you some meter also. Still haven't ascended her. We should probably do that. I mean, I've ascended her, but I've not ascended her her model there. If it's just over after this, we'll do this. Hey, remember the last time that we've just done a battle, right? Oh yeah. She even has them. Interesting. Does she have unique stuff then? Uh, ignore invincible significant damage. Squire. Ooh, yeah. Squire of Prophecy. That's different then, isn't it? At least I don't remember it being called that. Yeah, she has a different moveset. You're different. Weird. But kind of cool. Um... So, you know what? Let's go with this. Alright, we'll do that there. We'll do... That's still there. Gain stars? Sure. You know, because there, we got some stars here, so we can go pop. Pop, pop. Nice. Wow, we didn't even need the defense there. Okay. We got here some black cats. Uh, so let's go. Should we just wipe them out? Sure. It's a group of three. Yeah, let's go. Uh, just... Let's probably... Probably not kill them. So yeah, we'll just do some of this. I don't think it's gonna kill. Which will then give us our meter for, uh... The other one there. It depends if they count as fairies, which they seem to actually, so never mind, rip. Okay. What's our final opponent? Is it the dragon of the river? Okiku. Huh, European cat mansion. Increased damage to kings. Uh oh! That's not good for any of us. Increase uh, with you. Increase it yourself. Let's go. One, two. After vision, one limit. Interesting. What does that mean? Alright, let's see here. Is it a unique animation too? 
Yeah. Well. No, it's the same. It's still so funny that that is literally just a combo from Monster Hunter. That is a gun lens combo. I've done that. Alright. Then... Good, we got the break gauge. Flower viewer scheme, poison. One can, two cans. Well, good thing we popped those early. Alright, so... Um... Let's get this to gain a bunch of stars and do a big crit. Okay. Nice. Okay. What are you doing with the cans? What do the cans mean? Um, let's go... Yeah, I'm trying to get as much... Ooh, big defense! Okay. What's going on here, then? How are we supposed to... beat you? It's permanent. What the frick? Uh... I don't know. Is it gonna clear after a while? Seven cans, eight cans, okay. Are the cans going to fall down or something? I don't really see what's going on with this. Uh, we'll clear that from you so you survive, hopefully. I, yeah, I don't exactly see the idea here. Hopefully when the cans reach 10, Nine, I don't have a can opener. Remove the cut. She does the thing. Okay, there we go. This is a weird fight. I did not know what to expect. It's fine. We'll get a fresh party of strong ones, and she's stunned next turn. Okay. Alright. We got a fresh party. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, we could do a thing with you. Yep. Start with this, because I'm going to go one, two, three to get back as much as you can. We can loop. That's pretty good. We'll see, though. Probably not considering a lack of a lot of stuff and it being a berserker. We got back only 7%. Ooh, well, maybe. Ah, I see just under. Catwell's curse. Okay, can you... Oh, you're still... You're st oh, you're stunned for multiple turns. I forgot. Good. Uh, in that case... Do that. Attack up. So let's just go... One, two, three. Nice. Okay. Next turn we'll have this. Good thing the cans are not out. No cans. No cans at all. Alright, just popping them all. Um, just to be careful. Alright, let's go. Not that this probably won't kill, but just in case. Just in case. What a strange... Oh! It appears morning has come. Weird. Are we going to address this encounter, or is it just something we must accept? Big bond up. Very nice. More servant coins. Nice, nice, nice.
Yeah, let's let's talk about that, please. Nice combo, Gareth. That was great. Thanks, Artoria. I'm a. Af I was afraid we might get wiped out back there, but we won, no problem. Uh, who's Okiku, and what was she doing here? I get a real bad feeling about this. Let's just hope this ain't the start of something. I don't think I've ever seen that fairy here before. Maybe she's a stray who marked this area as her territory. Oh, she peed here. Anyways, that was great stuff, guys. Tanner, Da Vinci, Artoria, why don't you three go back to the carriage? Gareth Muramasa, would you two mind continuing to escort Red Ribbit? I'm worried that Beasts and Bandits will think he's easy pickings if he looks like he's out on his own. No problem. I've always been a fast runner. That's fair. Da Vinci escorting him will only attract more attention. Better have someone more intimidating out there. So how long till we reach uh, Norwich at this pace? Oh, in another two days or so. Assuming you don't run into any trouble along the way, of course. Oh, and by trouble, I don't mean the kind of wild fairy attack we just dealt with. That stuff's just life out here. No, what I'm more concerned about is running into some of the Queen's soldiers. That's why I've been having us go at a more relaxed pace. A horse-drawn carriage, tear assing through town, is bound to draw unwanted attention, you know. I, 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 I mean, I get what you're saying, but I've never heard the phrase tear assing. I mean, I get it. I've heard of tearing ass, but... The last thing we need to be pu is pulled over and have our cargo inspected. Does that mean there are wanted posters of the Child of Prophecy, but that is Artoria now? No, Artoria's fine. They'll think she's just another fairy from the sticks. <laughs> the problem is Tanner. In general, it's against law to take civilian humans outside city limits. And so if some soldiers start questioning us about who he is and which clan he belongs to, we'll only be able to play dumb for so long. So straight up police interrogation, it's about the level of authoritarian crap I'd expect from Morgan. Yep, which is why we're taking it slow for now. If things get too hostile, well, we'll throw caution to the wind. By the way, Autoria, is this your first time going to Norwich? Uh-huh, I've always wanted to go though. A whole city packed with, uh, a whole city of smiths sounds amazing. Huh? I thought fairies hated iron. No, the wind kind definitely does, but the earth clan sees it as a precious resource. It's iron weapons all fairies hate. They don't have much of an issue with the iron in buildings or daily necessities. Well, your neighbors do tend to complain if you work with iron frequently, but that's just a sign of a good smith. Hmm, it's a shame your first visit to Norwich will be in while it's in such a state. But the fact is, it's your first big opportunity to turn things around. In fact, I'd say how you handle things in Norwich will set the tone for what happens to all of Britain. Remember the prophecy? Once the child has averted catastrophe in the city of iron and sea of suit, well, that's where we're going. Their pilgrimage shall truly begin. That's definitely talking about Norwich. Most of the prophecy is pretty abstract, but that's pretty, that's a pretty clear statement of where to go and what to do. This is going to be a battle neither we nor Artoria can afford to lose. Indeed, whether she's real or an imposter. Wait, wait, do I not? Ah. <gasps> I don't have any Among Us noises. Oh no, Bruh. that sucks. I need, I need a, I need an Among Us noise because it's just, it's right there, right? The Child of Prophecy has to save Norwich, but on the other hand, it's also plausible that disaster won't befall Norwich until the Child of Prophecy goes there. So I don't know that we really need to rush. For all we know, this could be our last peaceful journey together. We might as well enjoy it. All right, this is your first time traveling east of Salisbury too, isn't it, Tanner? We'll be passing by Oxford soon. Take a look while you can. Woodwose, head of the Fane Clan, is based here. It's also home to one of the the bells the Child of Prophecy will have to ring. So we're not going to stop there? No, we're not. I'd love to show you guys all the restaurants there. We can't risk Woodwose finding us. He wouldn't even be interested in our value like Murian. He'd just try to kill us on the spot. There won't be any room for peaceful discussion there, huh? Does that mean we'll have to fight our way to Oxford's Bell? I'm afraid that'll be our only option, yes. Now that the Tamlin and the, are, are the Queen's chief players, Woodwows might not have uh, uh, the same power he once did, but the Fang Clan is still Fairy Britain's primary military force. So we won't be able to storm Oxford for some time to come. Does that mean we're eventually going to have to fight there? Well... Yes, if we're going to ring the bells, we won't have a choice. I mean, can't we just, like, 
launch Artoria up to the bells, just Zelda it. Lords like Aurora and Murian, who don't want to see their cities turn into war zones, are the exception rather than the rule. Besides, it's not like Oxford hasn't already seen more than its share of bloodshed. 1200 years ago, in the year 800 of the heir of the High Queen, this area belonged to the Wing Clan. But then the Fang Clan came and took it by force, leaving not one Wing Clan fairy alive. Then Murian and Gloucester must be... It's possible there may be other survivors out there somewhere. But as far as I know, Murian is the last member of the Wing Clan left. Oof. The Lord of Oxford's office. Welcome back, Lord Woodwose. I'm sure you must be exhausted from your latest trip to Camelot. I'll say, that meeting was a complete waste of time. We didn't get so much as a single real answer. There were more hangers on, hangers on... Another strange turn of phrase. There were more hangers on than ever before, too, I swear. Meeting with the High Queen gets more tiresome every year. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is the other clans. Can you believe Spriggan and I were the only clan heads to attend in person? Nochna Reeves a traitor. Murian's a coward. Einsel refuses to come out of hiding. All they care about are themselves. They don't give any thought to the future of this kingdom. Aurora and I are the only decent rulers this place has. Indeed, sir. No one cares more about Fairy Britain than you. I can only hope you and Her Majesty tie the knot as soon as possible. Uh, yes, good point. Fairy Britain does need a strong hand to rule it. But then that damn barrel gut came along. After all my hard work, he just shows up out of nowhere and claims the High Queen's hand for himself. So what if he's a mage from a foreign land? Where does a mere human get off stealing a march on my woman? A uh, Lord Woodwose. Uh, pardon me, Lord Oxford. I'm here with the report on the ranch's resource management. Uh, oh, Manoy, why'd you have to come now? And after you finally earned a promotion to guard, too. Um, is this a bad time, Lord Oxford? Should I come back later? It's fine. Tell me. Yes, sir. Of the 60 humans that were being kept at the Western Ranch, 10 were assigned to Camelot, while the remaining 50 were assigned to us, hmm? Fine, with 50 humans, we can relieve the soldiers dying from Moore's disease of... Well, um, not exactly, sir. Uh, the remaining 55, or 50, were all taken to Manchester under Lady Gawain's supervision. She said they needed to be re-educated. She what? So that insolent little thing confiscated my humans without so much as a word to me. No. Uh. Please, Lord Woodwose, calm yourself. It's not his fault. He's just giving you a report. Silence! We shouldn't have to suffer for these pathetic creatures at all. If it wasn't for the Queen limiting their production, we could have as many humans as we need. But, sir, humans are emotional creatures. If we treat them like any other livestock, they'd stop being creative and they wouldn't provide any more nourishment for us. Britain can't afford luxuries like that right now. The Moors are growing in number by the day. We need to bolster our armaments before they swallow the entire city. Or what? Does the Queen think that Tamlin alone can keep the Moors at bay forever? Has she completely forgotten how much we, the Fang Clan, have fought for her over the years? Ah, Ripperoni. Lord Woodwoes. <sighs> Be calm. Be generous. Remember, you are a knight fit for the High Queen. I'm going out for dinner. Clear the body out before I return. I'm told Aurora has brought some fine grape wine with her. It seems that the Wing Clan is just as desperate to survive as we are. Wind? Wind and Wing are too close for me, but... Yes, sir. So it would seem... Poor Manoy. He was a really good cook, too. He always said he wanted to be of use to Lord Woodwoves, even though he was a human. Why can't humans ever seem to understand that they'll just never be as good as fairies? Dang. That's a bit of prejudice. So. Where are we going? What are we doing? Ah, we're now on the southern roadway east. Another battle here? Okay. This time, let's actually make sure we're doing this. So, okay, we got casters. So that'll be good for them. Um, 
honestly, if we got another freaking Kiku here, I'm gonna want someone who is good with that. So, you know what, actually? No, not that one. Let's go. Bup, 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 bup. We'll go. Yeah. Because the other ones can take care of it. Right? But the, the Berserker is kind of the problem. Um, actually, let's go... Mm, sure. We'll pop you in the front just to give you some time. Uh, and then the back there, we'll go with you as our as our last survivor, right? Okay. Um, and we'll give you... That would be real good with you. You can get your... Buster, right? I'm pretty sure you are. You are. Give me that. You're green. Uh, green. And you can get, um... We'll give you sea stars. Where's our... Ten sea stars a turn. Very nice. Alright. Sure. Let's give this a go. Hopefully it's not that one again, because that was an annoying battle with the can't hit. Like, what do I do? Just gotta hold out, huh? Alright, we got some, some more Unseelies, probably. Oh yeah, we got, well, they're pigs now. <laughs> Kill you. There we go. Okay. Side bent. Yeah, do that. That's fine with me. We'll go. I wonder if could you kill him with a full combo? Maybe we do this. Let's go one, two, three. Let's see, how much do you do? Oh, well, with the crit, yeah. Would have been closer without, but... Thank you for attacking those two, specifically. I'll take it. Alright. Um... So you don't have flame anymore. You're actually, in my opinion, possibly worse. Should I just do this? Yeah, let's just do that. Make, get all your stuff. Got to 100. This is going to be all of the mages, right? Oh, two black... Again, they're, they're, they're black cats, apparently. Let's go one, two, three. Because this is super effective on them. I wonder if he can get the, uh, like the blue mark, the cool stuff. Probably not. Also did not do nearly as much as I would have thought. Riddle me piss, Sartoria. Uh, let's go one, two, three. There we go. Ooh, big damage. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I want her to have meter there, though. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's just go one, two, three. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Nope. Okay, that's fine. She can... Oh, well, Artoria can give her meter. Of course. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's Oiwa. What do you have? What's your gimmick? Lemon's poison. Okay. Increased damage against males. Okay. Well, um, let's go. Start with that. I don't think we need to put you to sleep. I don't think that's a thing. Let's go. If we do this, we get a bigger charge. Sure. 
Yeah, let's let's do that. Because then we can get multiple turns of uh the charge there. It is a shame we can't give her the um the one to increase the charge, but oh well. Not that much. Wow, okay. Alright, and then we got multiple turns. Oh, okay. Good thing. Good thing that we did it. Yeah, that's, that's just gonna stun, so it's fine. That's, yeah, that's actually really good. That's actually great for us. Let's just take a turn of doing damage and gaining meter. Okay. Cat's Comb, Terror. Okay, you're still there. Um, Let's go... We got two attacks with you, so sure. Okay, do that for now, so that will go one. Let's go one, two, three. Right, increase that for the most damage at the end. Oh, jeez. You're more than good for that. Stun hit. Okay. Mice's Retribution. Something's gonna trigger. Okay, we can cleanse him. Yeah, we can cleanse him here. That does not count for that. Great. Um, let's go then. Yeah, we can't do much. We can put you to sleep. We can inflict fear. Uh, you don't have any buffs, really. So in that case, let's just spend the turn doing this. Hopefully he's back alive next turn. Okay. Terror struck. HP loss. Terror struck you. Monster strength. Woo! Alright, but we got a full combo with you now, so we're all good. We'll go one, two, three. Alright. Feel like this should be enough. Ooh, that looks good. Let's see. Man, pop, 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 ah, uh, pop, pop, pop. Nice. There we go. Oh, frick! I forgot about the guts. That's fine. That's intended. Morning has come. Big train the distances. This is a nice background. Like this, this is such just a JRPG Final Fantasy one background. Large fan. Well, that one went better than the Okiku one, that's for sure. Probably because you know we could actually attack her. So we're definitely heading toward a third of these damn things. Damn it! Why has this got to happen to me? I got no damn legends about defeating ghost cats. It's our second day of travel after passing by Oxford, and the local animals are definitely more violent here. I wonder if it's because we're near the pit. You mean that giant hole over there? That's right. The pit is a giant hole in the very center of Britain. And all those walls you see on the north side of the pit, that's Camelot. A sinful city Queen Morgan rules. So that's the pit. Mike told me about it. He said it's where sinister things are thrown away. He said if a fairy loses their name, they quietly disappear from the city and end up in the western woods. But the truly unwanted things, or things that can't be destroyed or won't go away, or just plain in the way, would, uh, you know, what we would basically call non-burnable trash, he said they're all tossed into the pit. It sure looks pretty deep. I wonder how far down it goes. Do you have any idea, Muramasa? Eh, that hole? I'd say about 10 kilometers or so. Good thing I didn't fall all the way to the bottom when Lancelot knocked me in there. I was lucky enough to catch myself in the wall before I got too deep. 
Oh, that's almost the same as the Marinara Trench. I know, I know it's not called that. Don't, you know. I'm surprised you know offhand how deep the Mariana Trench is, Tanner. Don't worry, I like fish. Have you been there or something? Wait, didn't we go there for an event? I think we did. Please stop talking about the pit, everyone. It's bad luck for all of us. Even just me for listening to you. Everyone in Britain knows about the pit and not to talk about it. It's just a bad idea. Remember those fairies we met who were headed to throw away some trash? They were landfill pilgrims, criminals who've been sentenced to pit duty as part of their punishment. Most fairies don't even want to talk about the pit, let alone look at it. Please keep that in mind from now on. So they're criminals and pilgrims? Isn't that... I know. I thought there was something strange about it, too. Why do they call it a pilgrimage? I mean, that word was made for the child of prophecy, right? What I heard is there are six relics that the first six fairies left behind when they died. The bell towers in each city were made to enshrine these relics and let each clan honor their roots. And Einsel called the journey the child of prophecy would undertake to visit all those bell towers and rule over the clans a pilgrimage. Huh? You don't say. I could see that. I mean, there's no other reason I can think of for the concept of a pilgrimage to exist here. So the word is, was just coined for uh, the word was coined just for the child of prophecy, huh? Well, that makes a lot of sense. Huh? You mean the word pilgrimage is completely ordinary in your word ta world, Tanner? Yep. Huh, you don't have anything here like religion, do you? Okay, say there's a group of people who believe really strongly in a certain teaching and formed a community centered on that belief where they all help one another. For people like that, the place where they teach, the the place where the teaching they believe in originated is considered a holy land. And the trip people sometimes take that holy land and to pray is called a pilgrimage. It's one of the simplest and most important rituals around, and it's something anyone in our world can do. Really? So you don't have to be chosen by prophecy to go on a pilgrimage in your world? No, that's one of the better things about proper human history. Everyone's equal and no one is special. You can still make amends, even if you do something bad, and even if you do good, do, uh, do good, do, woo! And even if you do good deeds, you can still be punished if you commit a crime. At its heart, the world, uh, that world, settles disputes through dialogue. Not to say every dispute is solved that way. Still, today's matters can carry over to tomorrow, and tomorrow's matters can be carried over to the day after. Since no one there is eternal or volatile the way fairies here are, in the outside world, things are pretty much always changing. Wow, that sounds like such a human way to run a kingdom. I can't do much of anything on my own, so I love the idea of a world where people can just help each other. Then again, that's true for most people in the land of the face, so I guess it's not really fair to compare them. Uh, one good point. So what about you, Tanner? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess that was kind of a strange way to ask, huh? I was just trying to ask what you think of your own world and how you feel about what it is you're doing now. Oh, now I see. Oh, good. Well, it's hard to put into words, but... Okay. This is important. People have told me... Okay, okay, okay. People have been very specific about me. Uh, what did they say? They, they, I think they said... They said, like... Question... Was it, like, question stuff? What is it? Um, oh, frick. They, they, they definitely told me that the choices matter. And they specifically said... Um, okay, it's only the unskippable dialogue choice that matter. All I'll say is try to stay curious. Some dialogue choice matters here. If you choose the correct dialogues, you're rewarded with extra dialogue in the last part. Uh, but do think about it when they seem serious. So, uh, I want to make sure I get these right. I really do. I wonder if there is a spoiler-free walkthrough here. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to the spoiler-free walkthrough on the website. Um, and I'm going to... Let's see here. So we are in... Not Fragment. Um, let's see here. Uh, it doesn't actually say. 
Oh, it doesn't say. Um, FGO Avalon correct story choices? Ah, I don't know. Um, there's absolutely nothing. Well, if they're saying try to stay curious, I'm going to say I do have concerns. I do. Our world was not perfect, right? Okay. Whoa, broken bridge. I'll be damned. I didn't think Land of Fey had bridges this grant. And I guess I still don't. Damn, what happened here? The whole thing's collapsed from the pillars up. They screw up the construction or something? Fair Britain went through its rainy season not too long ago, so I'd guess it was a combination of flooding and Moore's attacks that did this. Now, what do we do? Norwich is just a ways past that hill on the other side of the River of Tears here, but... I don't suppose fairy horse-drawn carriages can fly, can they? Of course not. You know why the ground exists in the first place? <laughs> For the romance of it. Life's hardly worth living without romance. If I could just fly, I'd still want to run along the ground. That's just the kind of horse I am. Right, I really don't get it, but I guess I can tell you have strong feelings about it, huh? So I guess this is as far as the carriage goes, huh? Well, thank you for your service, Red Rock. Don't be ridiculous, dog ears. Those are dog ears? I th what? Okay. What? I've come too far as Tanner's loyal seat to turn back now. I swore in the poem I've been writing all along the way that I would stay by his side to this journey's end. I'd sooner defeat you all and go home alone than let you leave me behind here. That is how committed I am to this cause, Snort. The River of Tears? Then this must be the Drissay River. What's a Drissay? I think I remember hearing some fairy by that name in proper human history too, but I can't place it. The Drissay are night calls. Oh, right, night calls are great fairies. Uh, once known as the Holy Grail of Water. What? Sorry. Huh? Night Calls are great fairies once known as the Holy Grail of Water. Their most notable characteristic is their ability to summon the treasure you want more than anything. How's that saying go again? A picture's worth a thousand words? Take a look over there and see for yourselves. Remember those fairies we saw gathered over by the foot of the bridge? Looks like they're here for the Drissé. Huh? Won't be able to make it back if you go in the river? Only because you guys are weak! Move aside, cowards, I'm going first. Drissé! Drissé, can you hear my inner voice? I want a new silver axe to replace the one I lost. It'd be a huge help if you get one for- Alright, there it is! I'm coming for you, Axie! There isn't much I want for myself, but Lord Woodwose did order me to find a barrette that would suit, uh, Lady Aurora, so... If you have a rainbow barrette that would look good on- Oh, crap! There's one floating this way now! I guess I should go get it, but every fairy that went in the Jusei River ended up- Oh, crap! My hand just reached for it on its own! I'm... What grabbed me? On second thought, never mind. I don't need it after all. I don't even want it for myself. Help, somebody help! Oh, I'm a wet pupper! Bork, 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 bork. Excuse me, but would you all terribly mind if I left you here and went back home now? I guess those are meant to be like dog ears, huh? Shut up, horse ears. Nobody was talking to you. So as you can see, the Drissé are very dangerous night calls. They lure people in with something they want, then drag them into the river to drown them when they reach for their treasure. The Drissay are basically a scale that weighs your desires against your life. The bridge is probably built as a defense against them. But it's too dangerous to go near the water, huh? That means we'll just have to hoof it. I can carry Tanner and jump from the ruined bridge to the other side. How about you two, Artoria and Gareth? Think you can make that jump too? Don't be ridiculous, Mermosa. Do you have any idea how big that gap is? I can do it. I'd be happy to do it. I've always been a really strong jumper. Oh, sure. <laughs> I can hop across those easy peasy. I mean, yeah, I am the child of prophecy, I guess. Yeah. I could probably make the jump too, but I'm not sure it's a good idea. Is it even possible to cross this river like that, Oberon? No, the Jose will definitely float treasure down the river while you jump across. If you catch even a tiny glimpse of it, you won't even be able to resist diving for it. Oh, right. Guess I should have known fairy mystics wouldn't make it that easy. Now see, Muramasa, this is why you need to look before you leap, literally in this case. Easy there. Jeez, calm down. I'm sorry. Mermasa reminds me so much of an old man I knew in my village. It just slipped out. <laughs> Guess we'll just have to make a detour around the river then. Uh, can we go upstream to do that? 
Yeah, we can make it out of the Drusay's domain if we head upstream. We'll lose half a day or so, but that's better than, you know, dying. Just don't look at the river at all. If you see something you want in there, ignore it. The Drusay are invincible in the river, but they also never leave it. So as long as we keep our distance, then it shouldn't be a problem. Treasure drifting down the river, huh? Uh, hey, Oberon. Couldn't we cross the river here as long as we ignore anything that drifts down it? No, we couldn't. The Drusay will just keep sending new treasures down the river as long as their magical energy lasts. Ignoring the treasure is essentially a battle of wills with the Drusay, which isn't the best idea. Wait, actually, that might work better. Sure, there are things we want, but nothing we'd be willing to die for. Besides, the thing we all want now more than anything is to save Norwich. There's nothing that the Drusay could offer us that could tempt us for that, so maybe we could... <gasps> hey, I see something coming down the river! It's... A life-size Artoria plushie! Oh, come on. Are we certain she's not a dog fairy? A two-meter long carrot! No way, a holy grail! Yep, I'm seeing a holy grail flowing along from upstream, too. But so what? At this point, another holy grail or two is nothing to us. They'll have to do better than that to sway Tanner and his iron result. A whole crate of holy grails? It'd be really funny if it was Saint Quartz. I can't hold these feelings back any longer! Crap, I didn't think they'd be this good at reading our minds still. I'm Leonardo da Vinci, the Renaissance genius. There's nothing they could show me that would tempt me away from... No way, a fossilized dinosaur! <laughs> Just that, that's it? How did you clowns destroy the five lost belts? Oh, it's not that they're weak, the Drusay are just that good at tempting us with what we want. Don't you dare look at the river, Artoria. I'm gonna go pull those dang fools out of the river before they all drown. Don't worry about me, I'm an imitation of myself, so there's nothing I want. Oh, really, Ramasa? There's nothing in the whole world you want? Don't look at me, you idiot. The river's this way. Huh? I can't believe we lost five people in just one minute. What do you make of this, Muramasa? That's what she wants? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Hey, Oberon, find a rope or something and toss it in the water. What, you think I'm just gonna find a rope lying up? Oh, damn it. Now I looked at the river. Yay, I wonder what I'll get. Sold out. <laughs> what do you mean, sold out? <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually... He has no desire. Interesting. Interesting. Are we actually going to fight them? Oh, frick. Sure. All right. What are, what are we dealing with? Glub, glub. Well, you adults have anything to say for yourselves for a bash your damn heads in? How could we not go for something like that? Dang, we got we got super bonked. You're not even pretending to be sorry. As soon as this Norwich business is over, you're all getting a zanzen for you're all doing zazen for a day. I don't actually know what that is. Uh Zazen, what's that? Oh, that's the uh, sitting meditation. Yeah, Buddhist sitting meditation. You can be very strict sometimes, huh, Maramasa? By the way, do you know what Zazen is, Tanner? Uh, it's kind of meditation training where you get hit a bunch of times until you clear your mind. That uh, sounds like a pretty unique way to meditate. I'm uh, not uh, not sure I'm ready for that, huh? Uh, the treasures are all gone. It must have been illusions all along. Damn, you just say. Oh, wow, you're right. My perfect Artoria plushie is gone, too. All I have to show for it, uh, my trouble is this lump on my head Maramasa gave me. I figured as much. There's no way they could have had all the things you lot wanted so readily at hand. They were just a bunch of counterfeits. No more substance to them than bubbles in this water. Well, that was profound. I'm impressed. Oh, thanks? Anyway, let this be a lesson to you all. Something looks too good to be true. It almost certainly is. Um. So, yeah. What do we do now? Looks like we're at the bottom of the river. I can't see the surface from here. It's safe to say we're in the Drusay phase domain now. So I'm afraid it won't be easy as easy assuming our way up and out of here. We're gonna have to do something about these Drusay fairies before we leave, huh? Well, since they went to the trouble of dragging us down here, I imagine it won't be long before they come to us. What kind of fairies are the Drusay anyway? Humanoid? Fishy? 
I've heard they're mermaids, but no fairy they've dragged in has ever returned to save for sure. Boy, I wonder if we have a mermaid servant they could use. I also heard they prefer humans to fairies, that they especially like to capture male humans and make them their lovers. Apparently, they let humans go before they die, which is how the name just say spread in the first place. Huh? They take lovers and release them? I'm a sounds like they're getting married. Wait, is that why I just say lure people in the river? To find a husband? That's right. They take arranged marriages to a whole new level. Ah, sounds like they have a lot in common with proper human histories, just say then. You mean they're just say in your world too? Yep, the legend is known all around Europe. It says they transform themselves into golden rings or saucers, float themselves down the river, and pull in any man who tries to pick them up and down into the depths. But it's not so they can make men their lovers, it's so that they can... Oh, yeah, you're not a sexy mermaid girl. I want it, I want my purpose. Please, please let me have... I've been looking forever, but I can't find anywhere in this world. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Here they come. Fight now, talk later. Don't take them lightly, Tanner, from the looks of them. This is going to be a long battle. Fun. We have no idea what it's going to be. Um, okay. In that case, you have a wide range that you can help with. Um, so let's go with... Let's switch you off. If this is going to be a quote-unquote long battle, uh, guess who has a team built for long battles, baby? That's right, it's me, ya boy. So we're going to go with you. We're going to switch this off for... Uh, honestly, with you, we can give the, the ten, 10 stars each turn. You got attack up, you got that, you got that, you got that... I can't, and just to be careful, we'll put you at the end, and we'll just remove that and switch it out with, uh... Three, four, nope, not even nine. Okay, sounds good. So, let's give this a go. Let's see what we're dealing with here. How many things do we got? As soon as we can. There we go. Oh. Knowledge of the outer world. Evil. Increase nullify buff resistance. Okay. And inflict damage. Interesting. Well, it's a good thing we have the ability to uh, wipe, wipe out anything like that. Uh, we can do a full combo with you. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't even think about that. That's a good little combo. Yeah, baby. Start with this. If we hit that big crit, that'll be real good. Nice. Nice. And then... Oh, okay. What just happened? Whoa, okay. You're now Protea. And you're dead. Good. Good, you're good, you're good. Okay. Oh, whoa, interesting. And that's the that's the grail. That's cool. I want, I want. Oh, that's annoying. That's not fun. Uh, can we can probably give you a lot of meter? Not enough though. Uh, that's fine. We'll we'll focus on getting that. Is this a saber? Why the frick is it a saber? It's a little strange. Okay. Charge game. Okay, one more hit. Thank you. All right. Um, so let's go... One... Two... Three... Okay. Big damage. Nice, nice. And then... 
Big hit. Nice. One more. Hey, thank you very much. Okay, I might hold on to that for another turn. So let's just go with this for now. We'll go... Uh, one, two, three... Okay. Nice. Yeah, hit us a couple times. We want Merlin to get the meter. Hey, thank you very much. You got your super, which doesn't matter, because we can go... Uh, one, two... Ah, uh, let's go three to get you back some more. You matter more. This is such a good team comp, holy crap. This just works so well. That debuffer move is so sweet. And then... Hit. River of Tears. NP loss. Okay, it's not bad. At least it's not buff removal. That would have screwed us over, but we're fine. Uh, let's just take a turn to do some of this. Okay. Alright. This turn we'll get Morgan's super again. Yeah, because now we can go... Let's see here. We don't have a full combo. We'll do this. You might be able to get enough back with you, yeah. Yeah, that works. So let's go... Uh, one, two, three. Alright. Good stuff. This still haven't switched over. I keep forgetting to do that. It's I'm never gonna remember. It's just one of those things where it's you you do battles and you do stories so long that you just want to continue. So like yeah, I'm not gonna freaking remember because I'm stupid. All right, this should do it. Ooh, well maybe. Yeah, it did. Cool. Nice little asset reuse of the Holy Grail from the Apocrypha event. You get so many bond points. I feel like she just went from like, like she felt like the quickest to bond up out of any five star I've had. It's nowhere. Nowhere. Why? Why? I don't know what I want. I don't know. I don't know. But I dream of it. I dream of my treasure. I dream of my love. Of my baby. The baby. The baby. I just say it's dispersed, but I'm... What's a baby? Do you know Artoria? No, I've never heard of a baby before. Baby, 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 baby. Me neither. I wonder what it could be. Uh, come on, you guys know what babies are, right? Uh, I thought that might be the case. Tanner, let's talk about this later. Just the two of us. Huh? Okay, sure. <laughs> Look, the flow of man is returning to normal. The phase, uh, the Dressay's fate domain must have been dispelled. Hooray! Wait. See if you can guess whose was which. I see. So you fought the Jose at the bottom of the river and you even won. Then you almost drowned while you were chatting because you didn't realize the river had returned to normal. And you finally made it back here on foot after being washed ashore downstream. Does that about sum it all up? Oh well. I was just keeping an eye on our stuff. No scales off my wings. Come on, don't pound Oberon. I'm sorry I left you all alone. Uh, you can put the rope away, too. I'm impressed you actually found one. 
You can thank Blanca for that. She's the one who found it. Gross! Ew! Uh, you should have come with us, Oberon. It would have been fun. No, that's okay. I'm not too fond of water. Uh, thank goodness the Drusay were all sold out. Anyway, now that we don't have to worry about the Drusay anymore, we can cross the river no problem. Redderbit, uh, head upstream until you find the bridge, and then wait for us outside Norwich. Don't worry, you stand out so much that we won't have any trouble finding you. I guess that is the only option, isn't it? I'm sorry I can't provide you with a pleasant carriage ride the rest of the way. Okay, I promise I'll catch up to you in Norwich in two days. One, if I don't take any carrot breaks. Take care until then, everyone, and please don't fall for another fey horse while I'm gone. <laughs> okay, we should get across the river now before the sun sets. We can make camp on the other side and rest until morning. Don't worry, there's no need to rush anymore. At this point, Norwich is so close we can almost taste it. We'll be right on time for our date with Destiny, just as planned. You're orchestrating us to meet with MASH. You are. Don't hide it. That or you have some precognition or something. I don't... I don't trust it. I don't trust it. We'll have to see. All right. We still have one more. Are you serious? Riders and... Okay, so we have a rider. Probably want a strong assassin. I mean, or you. You're still good with them. Right? Um, Let's see here. We'll go with... Well, we don't need to, to super do, you know, that anymore. So we'll then switch you off for, um... Sure. Sure. Right? So we can, we can have... These three can do a lot, and then you can come in if need be. All right. Yeah, just a battle. We're just doing it. We're just popping in. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm drinking this orange juice. Like this orange sort of pop, orange juice soda, Diao soda. It's really good, but it has the, uh, a picture of a guy holding up the bottle on it. That's a lot of black beards. That's a surprising number of black beards, huh? Um, they're also very strong, like ridiculously strong. Okay. Um, let's start with this. And let's go... Uh, what if I do... Divine Spirit? No, that won't do much. Yeah, no, there's no point to those. Uh, let's just go one, two, three. Yeah, so like I was saying, it has a guy holding up the bottle on the bottle, which is kind of recursive. It's very strange. That's a good start, at least. There we go. Can you not? Why is there so many black beards? It's just terrifying to think about. Um, you'll probably kill in two hits. Just under. Okay. Ooh, don't. No, stop. Okay. Um, we'll kill here. Oh, but he has... He has guts. I didn't see that. That's not good. Okay, come on. Oof. Horf, man. Alright. Finish this off. Next turn we'll be able to do a full, uh... Well, not a full, but we'll get a couple things on it, so let's do that. Oh, it's a, a death cat. Death cat. Okay. Um, should we do... Yeah, I don't think we'll kill in one turn. So in that case, what we'll do is we will go with... Um, let's go... Because yours increases the gauge, right? Increase charge? Yeah, we want that. So we'll go one, two. And then we'll go three to get you more meter again. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say it right now, off camera, I'm upgrading her to her second costume. I will, I will, I will. Off camera though.
Okay. That's three hits, so we got two left on that, which is not as much as I would like at all. Alright, this sh should probably kill. Uh, might not actually, we'll have to see. Oh, it will. There we go. So we got two hits on our thing. What do we got? Otsuyu. How many endurance battle? Paper, amulet, warding off spirits. What the frick? No effect. When HP reaches zero, just continue. Oh, frick. What are, what are you doing? So, um, in that case, uh, frick. Let's. Let's just try and it's an endurance battle, so we just gotta survive, huh? Alright. Let's do that. Um got a hundred on that, that's good. Let's see. Okay. This will break the gauge, but if we're just trying to survive, it doesn't matter. Okay, how much is left? A good amount. Okay. Monster strength. Okay. We're out of stuff. That's not great. Okay, we're not going to have enough on you, so let's go... That on you, that on you, that on you. So yeah, we're going to try and get the meter there. Let's go... Let's go one, two, three. Okay. Pop this. Is that enough to... Yep. Okay, morning... Oh, that's it? Okay. You're popping it? I guess you did. This time you'll be around in the morning? Okay. Alright. You had guts, you were invincible. Fool, you were tricked. How? In what way? Please explain, I am so confused. Um... Let's go... <laughs> and pop that on you. Absorb. So let's go one... Two, or let's go two, three. Okay. I I don't I don't know what exactly we're trying to do here. Uh, I guess survive. And this will do it. Nope, just under. A paper amulet peeled off. Okay, but how many of those things do we need? Okay. One, two, three. Okay. There's Stellenacht. Right, did I say that right? Stellenacht, not Stellen. Stellen. Are we not supposed to be attacking you? Is that what's been going on? Are we just not supposed to attack? Are you just gonna keep popping it? 
I mean, I guess by doing that you get stunned at least, right? Okay. Let's just take some turns to not kill you. Let's do this. I don't know. I don't know how to not kill you. At this point, we're, we're, we're doing it way too many times, I guess. But you're stunned, so you can't do anything, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. But you can't do anything. Okay. So let's go... One, two... Three... Oh, freaking whatever. Okay, morning has come, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be big and invincible again. Boy, they really want you using her in this battle, huh? All right, are we do doing it again? Okay, we we're enduring. We are. We're just waiting now for however many turns it takes. Okay, in that case, our number one priority will be getting more meter with uh with her. So. Four. Yeah, not gonna matter because we're still just waiting. Morning has really come. Death. Thank God. Okay. Hey, Bargy likes me more. Oh, that's the dream. That was a bit annoying, but we did it. We had a strategy, at least. That was quite the fearsome foe. Why is the game kind of slowing down? It was quite the fearsome foe, wasn't it? And this bread is really yummy. I never used to think of eating as important before. But I thought I'd try it for myself after seeing Artori enjoying food so much, and now I can't stop. Now that you mention it, you do eat a lot for a Wind Clan fairy, don't you, Artoria? Usually it's the Fang Clan that live for food. Are you actually a Fang fairy? No, I'm just a low-class fairy. I don't even belong to any one of the six clans. I only got in the habit of eating because the people of Tintagel Village oh, would always give me food. Tintagel Village? Then the rumors are true. You really did survive Woodwose's Child of Prophecy hunt. Uh, well, I don't know if I'd say survive so much as barely managed to escape thanks to Merlin's Magecraft. I really didn't do anything all that spectacular. The whole thing's kind of become exaggerated as time goes on. By the way, Gareth, do you know why restaurants first became popular here in Britain? Come to think of it, no I don't. Going to a restaurant was never an option for me, so... They're not just places to eat. They're also a place... Uh, they're also a way for the Fang Clan to keep their violent impulses in check. Woodwoes make a big speech about how, now that the Fang Clan has served the Queen as her army, their lack of manners was unbecoming. He said he would give them a proper education and teach them to satiate their desires with meals. At some point, the first restaurant he started blew up into a major chain, and now owning a restaurant is considered one of the hallmarks of a success here in the land of the Fae. So the reason Woodwose is so particular about etiquette and dressing like humans is, yep, yeah, it's all to cover up his own violent nature. He might act like a gentleman now that he's the head of the Fang clan, but at his core, well, he hasn't truly changed. He's still a brutal and greedy fairy who gets his kicks from tormenting the weak. That doesn't sum up the whole Fang clan, I don't know what does. Still, now that Tamlin are the Queen's most valued fighters, he's settled down to just being an old fairy who wields his authority like a club. Does that mean he's not all that strong? That's right. At this point, he's just an old fairy. You're definitely stronger since you managed to defeat the Dressay. So, once you eventually get around to de defeating Woodwoes, you should take the chance to go to one of his restaurants. I've only been a few times myself, but I can tell you the food is to die for, especially the salads. After all, even warriors need rewards to keep themselves motivated, so I hope that gives you guys something to look forward to as you help Artoria out. Good, Artoria and Gareth are all over there by the campfire talking with Oberon. So, as you can probably guess, the reason I'm talking to you over here is because I'd rather they not hear what I'm about to say. Although, 
What? Is there a problem with me being here? Technically a proper human history servant too, you know? All right, maybe it's better if you hear this too, Muramasa. So to get back to where we left off in our discussion uh, of the Jose from proper human history, the reason they drag men into the rivers in our world isn't because they want husbands, it's because they want a mate. If they came across a woman instead, they make her serve as the child's wet nurse. And that means uh, they wanted babies, not lovers. Basically, yes. But the Jose here in Fairy Britain can't have children, even though they drag countless men to their doom. Do you know why that is? Because babies don't exist here. Looks that way. The problem goes even deeper. We've seen that fairies here basically just imitate human society. So we can assume that the first two species' way of life are fundamentally the same. If fairy society doesn't have something, that would be because it doesn't exist in human society either. And that means humans in fairy Britain have no natural means of reproduction. There's no concept of childbirth here. I had a feeling... Okay... Okay, between the NTR and now discussions of birthing and breeding... Nasu, what's up, brother? Come on, man. I had a feeling something was off when we learned that they only have predecessors and successors here instead of parents and children, but now I'm pretty certain. Wait, wait, hold up. I get that fairies spring up on their own. They've always been like extensions in nature. But how the hell are humans born if they can't reproduce on their own here? Don't tell me they just spring into existence on their own, too. No, here humans are produced. I don't know if it involves some kind of artificial insemination system or if they're manufactured like homunculi. But however they're made, they're produced, raised, and shipped out as individuals with nothing in the way of siblings or parents. I'm sure they still have things like marriage, husbands and wives, but even if two humans get married, they'll never be able to produce their own descendants. So that's what human life is like here in Fairy Britain, it seems. It may seem cruel and inhumane to us, but for fairies who live here, like Artoria and Gareth, it's just another ordinary fact of life they probably never questioned. At this point, I have no way of telling why things turned out that way here. But I didn't want to tell you while Artori and Gareth were around in case it came as a shock to you and made things awkward around them. So that's why I decided to keep this information just among us. <laughs> just among us. I need a sound for among us. What can I use? <gasps> My Neko Arc buttons are broken. They're not working. Oh no. What about this one? All my buttons are broken? Oh no. My funny soundboard isn't where Oh, it's because I accidentally closed out of the, the voice mod thing? Oh, I totally did. I totally right-clicked and d destroyed my program. So, uh, just give it a second. Right? Right? Here it comes. It's it's currently opening. I freaking hate you need internet to use the, the Stream Deck's soundboard. This doesn't make any sense. What was that noise? It's a very strange noise. All right, one more time. <clears throat> so that's why I decided to keep this information just among us. What? Excuse me? Really? I hit the sound. Oh, this is annoying. All right, just among us. There we go. Thank you. Can we try that again? What the frick? It's not... It's just not working. Are we... Can we one more time? There we go. Wow, that's annoying. That's annoying. Anyways. Uh, so humans only ever know one generation here. Oh, that's it. Okay, I think this should be enough. Plus, I'd hate to wake them now that they're resting up for tomorrow. Hmm? What just flew out of Tanner's tent? Was that a bird? Has he been raising one in secret all this time? No, that can't be it. Oh, it's a message to... Yeah, it's a message. Message to... What's his face? Oh, hi, Blanca. Sorry about that. How are things in Norwich? Does it look like the calamity will start tomorrow? Oh. Still no sign. Then we should just be in time. Looks like there really is no changing Einsel's prediction after all. On the other hand, it's also plausible that disaster won't befall Norwich until the Child of Prophecy goes there, huh? Once Artoria arrives, Norwich will be destroyed. I knew that, and I brought her here anyway. Artoria will dispel the Calamity and live with the responsibility for Norwich's destruction. What a cowardly, devious god I am. I can't even help them prepare for what they're about to go through. But they have to get through this, or nothing will ever change. 
After all, the prophecy is clear that the first spell to be rung in the pilgrimage is Norwich's. Okay, thanks, Blanca. Why don't you rest up too? You must be exhausted. No, I'm not going to tell them it's impossible to save Norwich. Tanner doesn't need that on his shoulders. Better I carry the extra baggage than burden him with it. Don't worry about it too much, Blanca. This is all in line with the prophecy. Besides, it looks like we still have a whole day until the calamity begins, right? Both Tanner and Artoria will need some positive memories before it all starts. So tomorrow, they'll relax and enjoy everything Norwich has to offer. The next day, the fighting will commence. They really like setting up. Hey, guess what? Disaster will come. You just gotta deal with it. Well, I think... Yep, that's the end of that node. And if I'm correct, isn't this one, like, ridiculously long? One, two, three. I didn't mean to click it. We're not starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wowie! That's a lot. Okay. Well, we'll probably do part one of Norwich next time. I doubt we'll do it all if there's going to be a lot of it. Uh, which is, as far as I'm aware, the last node of part one. Part one. Okay, hold up. This is part one of chapter six of part two. Yes, of Fate Grand Order. We'll see you guys next time for some more. Ciao.